What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back here again with another video. So I was having a conversation with my homie Dub. We was talking about how a lot of the social media websites now, they all kind of operate the same. They all have the same type of features. And you know what? I was actually kind of like wanting to see in my mind, what's the most toxic social media sites out there, in my opinion. Now, I'm only going to be given the basis of this toxicity only in the sense of apps that i have used personally so i'm not gonna put tiktok in that category because i haven't used it i'm not gonna put reddit in there because i haven't used that really at all either but i am gonna put the apps that i have used me personally and give my toxicity rating on them so i'm gonna start with the least to the most so for me right now at the bottom of the list is facebook facebook has it's toxic moments when it comes to like when people post certain stuff on their feed or whatnot. A lot of times it's usually just how they feel about certain stuff, whether it's political or what they're going through. And they'll post a whole paragraph on just how they feel. And to me, it's it's nothing too crazy. You may see some some funny memes here and there, but mostly I only re the only reason why I even have Facebook now is just to see what my family and friends are doing that i haven't seen in a very long time that's really what it is nine times out of ten i'm getting uh messages from my uncles and aunts that i'm surprised they even have a facebook and know what a facebook is and they're telling me asking me have i you know do i love god and if i love god repost this post and it's it's just one of those things was like i love god auntie i love god uncle I'm not reposting this post, <laughs> but that's usually what Facebook is. It's just for family and friends. That's the only reason why I have it. So that's why it's at the bottom of the list for me personally, because I haven't really seen too much toxic stuff on Facebook. So that's number five for me at the bottom of the list. Number four, uh, I'm going to give it to Snapchat for me personally. Uh, Snapchat is still kind of booming uh, a little bit, but it's not as it's not as popular as it once was uh i think tiktok has taken that over but snapchat i mean it only really gets toxic in like the dms in the messages you know what i'm saying it, that's the only time it really gets toxic man it, it really just depends on what you send in the people that's really what it is so that's why it, it's not as bad there's still some moments you know i've seen a lot of people get caught up you know relationship wise get caught cheating through snap but it's not as bad that's why it's still at the bottom of the list for me because people have snap people still use snap but it doesn't give off that toxic vibe as much it's more on some personal type stuff you know people out here using snapchat premiums and stuff like that so it's it's like more more private like probably some toxic stuff going on behind the scenes on like just in the personal in the personal messages but outside of that i don't really see when when i was on snap i didn't really see too much crazy stuff on there so it's like ah yeah it's it's still kind of at the bottom list for me so it's number four for me uh number three i'm gonna give it surprisingly to instagram uh instagram isn't as toxic as people make it to seem i'm saying toxic so many times now but instagram is like it's it has its wild moments i think i think you there's a lot of stuff that shouldn't be seen on instagram i don't i don't know how many videos of people getting hurt or killed is being posted on instagram and it, it, that can be kind of problematic uh i think the most toxic thing on instagram is the people in the comment section that's that's about it that's that's really where it boils down to the comment section on instagram is pretty wild but for the most part me personally i haven't seen too much crazy stuff i just seen a lot of a lot of false narratives being posted and people not doing their research so i think that's why it bumps it up to number three for me because you literally could post something on instagram and if it gains enough traction people be will believe it it could be the most nonsensical bs and people will believe it if it got a lot of likes on it you know what i'm saying it, instagram is all about the likes and that's really what it is so if it got a lot of likes it gotta be true you know what i'm saying so that's why i give it number three on my toxicity list for apps social media apps because uh it, it has its moments but you know you just gotta really be aware of you know what i'm saying just what to believe and what not to believe so um number two will be youtube 
but the comment section now i was just talking about the comment section on instagram is pretty wild at times on youtube it is a whole nother beast i'm not gonna put youtube as a whole uh on the toxicity level for it being on this list because it's youtube is not the problem even though some of their policies are ass and it's it's definitely watered down from what it used to be but it's more so the comment section bro if you really truly want to build tough skin make a video and it gets traction and you will I'm, I'm guaranteeing you will find somebody to say something negative about it doesn't even matter if it's re relative to the video it is a toxic place in the comment section that's why it's on the list only because of that because i think there's a, a lot of amazing dope content creators of course there's some assholes on this platform but i do feel like there's a lot of amazing dope content creators out here and it's the comment sections that just be wild bro i mean y'all would be surprised what we've gotten on the in the clutch page just nonsensical 10 page paragraphs talking about why our opinion is trash we're haters and all this other stuff and it's just it's like yo that that is truly insane so i i have to put that up there because if you can stomach just the stuff that people say on the YouTube comments, I think you will be fine on social media in general. If you can just ignore that type of stuff, I think you'll be fine. So that for me is number two, only just because of the comments that is just, oh boy, radiation of toxicity is at all time high. And number one, of course, if you didn't know, is fucking Twitter. Twitter is the king of toxicity twitter is the king of social justice warriors twitter is the king of virtue signaling it is the king of when it comes to people wanting their opinions to be heard and their opinions are correct and everyone else's opinions is wrong that is twitter oh my god bro oh to, i've never seen a platform that was already kind of wild when it started up get even wilder that's one of the main reasons why i deleted my twitter because i just don't care to be on there and it's just like a lot of toxic stuff i just didn't care to see bro like i just i just don't care to see certain people's opinions so opinionated and like people will respond to somebody's post and then it would be 300 other tweets of people either co-signing people being assholes like it's just it's wild bro twitter is the wild wild west of social media and it has been for a very long time oh my goodness bro and let's not even get into twitter is low-key a porn site bro you literally could be on your feed chilling and the next thing you know you see somebody getting pile drive from behind and you're like yo bro i'm just scrolling what what what's happening like what's going on like this is insane that's how wild twitter is bro i've seen so many videos i wasn't trying to see like what the hell is this why did someone retweet this and why is this on my timeline like it is insane bro and of course it's just like youtube with the comments people have their opinions and they're gonna they're gonna let the opinions be heard twitter it's worse it is god awful worse never the cancel culture i believe started on twitter people are ready to hashtag cancel you at any moment's notice for whatever fucking reason and you don't even get canceled it's it's just a toxic place twitter is truly truly toxic so that's my list of just the toxic social media websites that i have used or do use hey man i, I will say this I would say this to those that, that like being on social media and love using it all the time, man. Sometimes there's nothing wrong with just taking a little bit of a break, even if it's for an hour, man. Sometimes you need to decompress, bro. You, you got to, because just the wild stuff that we see online can definitely affect you mentally sometimes. You, you tend to get desensitized to the BS that goes on in the world. So I'll say this to anybody out there, man. There's nothing wrong with taking a break from these toxic websites from time to time. And it's not the website itself that makes it toxic. It's the people that use it. You feel me? So I want to get y'all opinion on any other websites that I didn't list, social media websites that I didn't list that I don't primarily use. If you feel like they should have been on the list, let me know what order 
of toxic websites which y'all uh put in y'all own little order i want to see y'all list down below give your reasons why man honestly at the end of the day i do love social media as a whole it does allow us to connect to people that we never thought we would ever be able to connect with and i think that's cool but at the same time shit is toxic be in these streets but that's just what it is but i appreciate all the love and support road to 30k appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all on the next one peace